Hello, welcome back. I'm Melissa. Thank you so much for joining me here. Today's video is all about the imports. I just filmed the unboxing not too long ago. I will link it up here. And I'm going to take you through the steps of what I did immediately after I unboxed the plants up until kind of their acclimatizing process. I currently have them in water and you guys will see that footage. And then I'm going to be switching them to perlite in a couple of days. And that's how they're going to stay for about a month to six weeks or so. So immediately after unboxing, I took all the plants to my sink here and I'm cleaning them all and sticking them in a container of water with Super Thrive to rehydrate them. I'm gonna leave them in the Super Thrive water for about 24 to 48 hours because they're just super dehydrated after shipping. And before I put them in their individual cups with the Super Thrive water, I'm giving them all basically a bath. I'm using some Castile soap and some lukewarm water, and I'm just putting the plants in the bin, splashing them around, making sure to really clean them, and then I rinse them off with just some lukewarm water after. And I did this for every plant. I refreshed the water in between plants. I just didn't want to cross-contaminate, especially since I found pests on some of mine. The, I found mealybugs on a couple and then I had some scale bug with questionable old thrips damage on the Monstera aria. So I just really wanted to clean them all. The Monstera um, Adansonia aria, this one here, had mealies hidden all in the crevices. It was so gross. I was just taking my finger and water and just scooping them out. And any of the roots that were dead and dried and rotted, I was cutting them off. You could actually see in the sink there all the roots that were collected. When I was rinsing them, they basically just came right off. They were just shocked, basically. So you can see some scale bug on that Monstera. So yeah, I just kept repeating this process, cleaning them, rinsing them, and then sticking them in their container of Super Thrive water. I just made sure to really clean them, especially the ones I was concerned for pest, like this Monstera here. And I'll just let you finish watching me kind of stick them all back in the container here. And then I will meet you outside in just a second. So this is all of them right here. I have them sitting on a table kind of up front here where they can get some light. It's not super intense light because this is most, mostly north facing. So they're gonna do really well out here. So I just rinse them all and they're in water and super thrive. They're gonna fully kind of rehydrate for at least 24 hours. I'll check on them tomorrow around this time, but I probably won't transfer them until today's Monday. I probably won't transfer them to Perlite until Wednesday just to give them a good like water rehydration. I have some of the taller Hoyas in the glass vessels and then the rest of them are in the Starbucks cups. They love it outside here. It's really warm. It's humid. It's like the perfect ideal environment for these imports to kind of fully um, acclimatize to my space. My imports I had out here last summer did so well. I'm super happy with them. I'm excited to see how they're going to do. So I will pop back on in a few days and we will get to transferring these to perlite. Hello. I have all the imports here. Doop. I have had them out here for I got them Monday, today's Wednesday, so it's been roughly two days, 48 hours. I almost forgot that they were still in water. We just had a huge thunderstorm and it's like bright and sunny now. It's like two hours of hail, wind, thunder, lightning, and now it's like, it's a completely, it feels like a completely different day. It is so, the weather here is so crazy. I was just filming another video inside, so I'm like, I'm gonna come out here and get these switched over to perlite really quick. They are looking perky. They look a lot better. Some of the leaves, they've just, you can just tell a difference immediately when they're just like flat in the package. 
And then within like a few couple days of being rehydrated, the leaves just look and feel so much better. So they're getting the like hydration back. So what I like to do is I like to rehab the imports and perlite because you're going to have a lot of root shedding. A lot of the old roots are going to slough and kind of raw off. In the meantime, during that process, new healthy roots are going to form. So I like to do that in perlite to kind of set it up hydroponically and you keep a little bit of water in the reservoir kind of below the root level and they'll reach for that water, grow new healthy roots. And after about four to six weeks in perlite, once I feel that a new, enough healthy roots have grown, I will pop them into their substrate and they will be growing and on their merry way. So if you have not seen my other import series, I have a playlist called Import Playlist. I have all these videos saved under the playlist. So if you are curious, I kind of go into more detail about the whole rehab situation. This time is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to go quite in depth as I did in that video. I am going to kind of give you weekly or so updates on the root progress and how they're doing. I was most concerned about the Aria Monstera because I saw um, what looked like thrip damage and I have it right here actually. So I have been checking on, look how much better this Aria looks, like look how perky the leaves have gotten. This was the main leaf I was concerned with because it had the thrip damage on the back and I've been checking. Also this newest leaf here was kind of concerning for thrips as well. Do you see that modeled modeling there? That's thrips damage. So I don't see that anything has hatched and it's been a couple days. I'm pretty safe to say that this plant doesn't have any thrips. It just had the scale, which was interesting. I don't know if I got all the scale, so I'll recheck. Um, when I go to switch this over to perlite. So these have been hydrating for, like I said, 48 hours. There's gonna be a lot of rot that ends up happening with these roots, but I'm just basically gonna take these out. I'm gonna use the same container that they're in and just fill it with perlite. I have some perlite beside me here. This is from Lowe's, no, Home Depot. They were out of the miracle Grow, so this is Stall green, so I'm gonna use this and yeah, just scoop them up in perlite. I'm not gonna rinse the perlite, or it's I know it's dusty, but it's fine. And I'm not gonna poke holes in the container, I'm just going to fill it up with perlite, add water about mm, I would say, depending on where the roots are, I'll add a little bit of water. Um, just so that the entire I'll moisten the entire thing in perlite and then just keep a little bit of water in here. And I usually have to top them off every week being outside here because it is so warm and humid that it tends to dry pretty quickly in my experience, just like acclimating outside here. So they are doing very well. I'm very happy with all of them so far. There is a little bit more yellowing on a couple of the Adansonii leaves and the Syndapsis. I'll probably end up losing that leaf. But for the most part, again, like I said, in that unboxing, everything has turned out very well and I feel like they're all gonna do really good. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a different angle here so you can kind of see me pop these up into perlite. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do weekly updates and continue to show you how they're doing. Once we are at the potting up stage, I'll probably just do that in a separate video because it gets to be too long of a video <laughs> doing it all in one go. So when I go to water in the perlite, I'm gonna get some fresh water and add some more Super Thrive in it and just fill them, like, like I said, a little bit of the way. But I don't wanna use this water just because because it's been sitting for a couple days. I'd rather get some fresh water um, just to, you know, reduce any bacteria spread, reduce any possible rotting. I hope you don't mind the little birdies chirping out here. They're probably just as confused as I am because they're like, it was just crazy. Oh, look at that hawk. Oh, that's so cool. There's a big hawk that just landed in a tree up there. Chai sees it too, he's over here. Chai, do you see him right here in the chair next to me? He's looking up, he sees the bird. All right, let's get started. Stumping out the water and then I'm just gonna fill these vessels with perlite and then we will add fresh water and 
super thrive. I don't want this to be super dusty. I'm gonna try and go slow just because I don't wanna breathe in this dust. So that is all I'm doing for each of these, filling them up with perlite. I'm gonna water these all the way through um, at my kitchen sink, I'll just water them. And then I'm gonna dump any excess water out. I'm only gonna do a little bit of a water level at the bottom just to reduce any roots from rotting. You don't want these sitting in perlite and water all the way to the top. Beautiful Hoya. That's the one that I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> That is number two. This one is all kinds of crazy. All these roots that have formed along the vine, those are all gonna dry up. So when I go to pot these up, I'll just end up breaking off all these dried up roots so it doesn't look so buzzy and stuff. But there are four separate stems in here. that one is good to go. And this will sink a little bit more when I go to water. I might have to add a little bit more perlite on top. Um, but yeah, this is the Angelata red. This is the Macrophylla red here. Very pretty. That one is all done. Three more left. Look how much the Adansonii aria perked up. Do you see how perky those leaves have gotten with 48 hours of water hydration? That is crazy. I don't see any more mealies. At least I don't think, or is that another mealy down in there? Oh, that might be another mealy. So that one, we have the synopsis. That newest top leaf is going to go. And then the P. Tortum. The only thing with the Tortum I was concerned about was the stem. But again, I'm gonna keep a very close eye on that stem. I don't want the whole thing to rot and then this not make it at all. I'm gonna meet you inside and we will give these a little water through and that'll be it. And I'll definitely do, like I said, weekly updates on these and show you the progress and how they're doing, but I'm very excited. I just know they're all gonna do so well. Adding some Super Thrive. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm just going to, I already like rinse them through, but I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I don't want to fill it up too high. A lot of these are going to rot off, but I have it filled to about like right there. And I'll just keep an eye on them outside. I'll probably have to top these off. Like I said, at least once a week, depending on how quickly they dry outside. And the water is like right here on that one. It's gonna continue to wick all the way up until there's no more water in here. And then I'll just keep refilling till about here. It's really warm and humid outside. So it's really going to encourage these guys to grow, at least reduce that shock period. That leaf fell off of that stump there. All right, they are all transferred to the perlite. I'm gonna keep them in this container and I'm gonna set them back outside in their spot. There we go. I will see you guys in a week or so for the first check-in. Welcome, we're gonna do another update. It has been, I think a few weeks since we got these guys and it's been probably like 10 days or so, maybe two weeks since I last updated you. I'm a little confused on the exact date. Gotta get my hair up really quick. <laughs> this will be the last update until I'm ready to pot them up. I just want to quickly um, take them out of the perlite, refreshen it, give them a little bit of super thrive water and kind of pull off the rotted roots and just like clean them a little bit, clean them up. And I'll give you a look at everyone and how they're doing. Cause that's probably what you want to know if I've had any like weird, things happen or go on, or if there is new growth, if they're doing well. And I will say for the most part, everyone is doing well. I've had a couple leaves yellow off and not make it, but I have lots and lots of uh, root, new root growth. And for the most part, I would say everyone is doing really well. So I'm gonna start with the Monstera Aria because I just want to show you how perky these leaves have gotten. Look, I have so many roots in here. So all these rotted roots here are the old roots that have kind of shed and all these new ones are growing in its place. All I want to do is clean the roots up and yeah, just like refresh in the perlite. I don't want to disturb them too much, but I just want to get rid of all the gunk in here and there's not a lot of rotted roots, honestly. Um, I mean, there are some, but yeah, I just want to clean them up and show you them. So Monstera is doing fabulous. The leaves are nice and perky. I am going to be getting a new leaf out of here soon. It is getting ready to push out. So Aria is doing great. The Tortum is putting out a new leaf here, right here. So cute. The remaining three leaves have stayed. It's pushed out a new one and it's growing healthy roots in here. There's not a ton of roots, but I, again, I wanna clean that up a bit. The Syndapsis, again, leaves look nice and perky. And this one is yellowing here um, up top, but I'm not gonna take that one off. It is working on a new leaf and I have Healthy roots mixed in with some ones that are rotting again. There's the healthy roots that are growing. Again, with this Monstera, it's pushing a new leaf. This is the Aria um, variegated. 
and yeah, this one, uh, I think I will clean this one again and the crevice is really good because that's where the mealies were hiding in the little pivot of the petiole where it meets the inner node part here. That's where they were hiding. So I do wanna kinda of hose these off because they've been outside. They're kind of like dusty a little bit. And I am gonna take a Q-tip and swab in there again. Um, I see what could be a mealy in one of them. So yeah, I'm gonna clean that again. So there might be a couple mealies hiding in that one. And the last three remaining are the Hoyas. We have this one, this one here, and this one. So the Hoyas that are doing the best, I will say this one here is doing well. I didn't have any leaves come off or anything, and it is working on healthy roots. You can see them in here. There's healthy roots. They're very fine. This one did uh, rot the leaf that was touching the perlite, so that one did go, but I have healthy roots in here. And this one's actually pushing a new growth right here. Ooh. Right here, it has a new little baby leaf. So that is cool. All the aerial roots have rotted on this. And there's actually a new stem right here too. There's a little green piece. So that one is happy. This one I would say is the one that's doing the worst. And it's just one stem. So this was kind of in a clump and it separated into four individual pieces. And there's one that is wrinkling, this one here. It's not getting any water. It's completely dehydrated. So it makes me think that this one maybe isn't good, but the other three strands, the leaves for the most part feel firm and plump. So this strand may be a goner, this one. But I'm gonna dump it out and check. Uh, so may have lost one little strand on a Hoya. I do want to propagate these guys, but I, I don't wanna propagate them while they're still acclimating. I'm gonna let them hang out and perlate, I would say for another, uh, probably another few weeks. I'm gonna give them probably the rest of July and then probably the beginning of August sometime, I will get them potted up. I feel like they should be well acclimated at that point and have a decent enough root system to handle the tr transition to soil. All right, so let's dump these out real quick. I wanna try and save the perlite or at least what I can of it. If you hear thunder, it is getting ready to downpour. <laughs> so again, with the rotted roots, we are gonna get rid of the rot. I'm just kind of using my finger and whatever sloughs off is rotted <laughs> and dark and gooey and not healthy. I probably won't show you this for all of them because just to save time, I'll just do it for a couple of them, but it's just gonna be the same process, getting rid of all the rot. And I just always recommend waiting um, to pot them up until you have a decent root system because once you transfer them to your substrate while they're still working on their root system, you don't wanna overwhelm them. They're not gonna be, if there's not a lot of healthy roots, they're not gonna be able to take up excess water. They're not gonna be able to take up nutrients. So you definitely just wanna take it slow with imports, at least in my experience. And last summer I did the same process and it did, it worked really well. Okay, I'm not gonna go like crazy or anything. I'm not re-soaking the plant or anything like that. So yeah, that root system looks a lot better. Look at all those healthy roots that have grown. I don't wanna waste this perlite, so 
I'm gonna reuse what I can. Just kind of push the raw off to the side down in here. And we're gonna use our same cup, squeeze the root system back down in here and just fill up with our perlite. I'm just kind of filling in the air gaps here. I have fresh perlite down here too if I need it. It is storming so loud. Let's be getting ready to seriously downpour. And I probably could have waited to do this until I was ready to pot up, but I don't know. I just like doing this part now. That way, it, if I stressed it out accidentally by doing this, it will it'll recover by the time I go to pot it up. And then water wise, I only keep the water like maybe to here and it will wick up. I don't overwhelm. You don't want it to sit in water with perlite because you don't, again, you don't want to cause a ton of, of rot. So that one is good. I have my water here and my Super Thrive. Just because they are growing in new roots, they are able to take up some nutrients. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give a little fresh, fresh a Super Thrive. I don't wanna use any fertilizer or anything. Just a couple drops, one, two, three. And then we're going to re-moisten. All right. The water level is about here on it. So that one is all done. I'm gonna take these to, I think, my shower and just give them a quick little hose off and then I'll put them back outside. I'll probably do just a couple more with you. I don't think doing all these is necessary because it's just gonna be the same process. Let me do the tortum because I'm curious what the root system looks like on here. There are some healthy roots here growing in, um, but yeah, a lot of rot. Slip off the rot. I think out of all of, them, all of them, this one had probably the least impressive root system. But it's not bad. I mean, it does have healthy roots. It has some healthy roots growing in up top here and here. I think I had a little bit too much water in this one. So stick him back in here. All right, I think that is good. I'm not gonna add that much water to this one because it doesn't have a lot of roots. There, just a tiny sip. <laughs> so that one is all good. Let's see, let's do, let's do a Hoya because these ones are gonna be the same process. I mean, there's a lot of healthy roots in these guys. So we'll, we'll do those off camera. And this one's pretty healthy. Let's do the sad Hoya because I'm curious what this one looks like. 
Well, I shouldn't say sad, just one strand. Ooh, is, is sad. Let's see, and it's this one here that's a little sad. Mm -hmm. Oh, the whole stem is like mushy. See if I bend it, it's like broken almost. I want to let me grab my shears. I want to cut this, and if there's any green, then it will still be able to root off of here. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to cut into here. This one might not be salvageable. I think this one's a goner. Yeah, it's completely woody. Do you see? There's like no healthy, viable anything. So this one's a goner. And these ones are firm. These ones feel good. So this one has two leaves. This one has a leaf. Oh, there is a stem here that doesn't have any leaves. So this is one of the leaves that fell off. We just have a broken stem. All right, so. Now see this one. I think this one's a goner too. It feels squishy, this whole thing. Let me cut it above this and see. Yeah, there's nothing in this one either. So that one's a goner. So two of the stems were not good. So we have two healthy stems. And they look healthy because you can see the leaves are healthy. And this one is growing new roots. They're very fine though. I'm just gonna do a quick little slough here. Anything rotted. Yeah, there's lots of uh, white healthy roots coming, coming in. All right, I'm not gonna mess with that one too much. All right, so that one is good. down far enough. Okay, the perlite is pretty wet on this one. I don't want to water it too much. I'm just going to give it a little sip. Okay, that is that one. All right, I'm gonna finish up these other four. What I'll do is I'll show you what the root system looks like in clips next of each one. I'll just do a quick little uh, unpotting. I'll show you the root system and potting them back up. I'll put clips here just so that if you are curious what the other root systems look like, I don't want you to miss that part, but just to save time, I'll just quickly show them next. And then I'm gonna rinse them off, like I said, in my shower and put them back outside and I'll show you what they're looking like. And the next time that you see these, we'll be potting them up together. Here they all are again. I have them cleaned and they are nice and fresh. So they're all in, in their individual pots again. So there's just healthy roots in here, nothing rotting. I got all of them put back in here. 
the synapses here. Nothing but healthy roots. Here's the monstera. I took away all those rotting roots. Here's the cute little tortum. I'm so excited for this one. So stinking cute. All right, let's go put these back outside. I did spray with alcohol in between the crevice of this one, just in case, uh, but nothing else should be alive. At least I hope not, <laughs> as far as the mealies go. They're all going to do well from this point forward. I don't expect any anything to happen with any of them. I think they're going to do well and yeah, I'm super excited for them. I hope you enjoy this little import rehab process with me. I just think it's so fun. I love acclimating them and watching them grow. I just enjoy it. This will be saved under my import playlist, so I have a whole a playlist dedicated to all the imports and the ones I did last summer are in that playlist. So the next time you see these guys, we'll be potting them up and super excited to get them growing. And yeah, I don't know if I'll keep all of them like the Hoyas. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly eventually what I'll do. Uh, I'll probably end up propagating some and keeping some, but we'll see. I'm excited for them though. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.